meteorologist Mark Molnar with your forecast update for Weather Northeastern. Let's get right into viewer sending in photos. This being sent in here by Joe Dre Host from Johnson City, New York for Kim Powell from the St. John Northern Virgin Island chain here. Take a look at this beautiful picturesque photo here from St. John of the U.S. Virgin Islands. Take a look at this beautiful photo here to behold. Look at that sky and look at that foliage. Now, if you look very closely at the photo, you can see that some of the foliage has been stripped of some of its leaves. Those are from last year's hurricanes that moved through the area. So very beautiful photo from Kim Powell here in the St. John U U.S. Virgin Islands here. So very nice photo to behold. Let's get right into the forecast for the lower 48 of the United States and North America for that matter. Take a look at precipitation totals here. We do have some out west, but your eyes are drawn to Florida all the way up the east coast. We will have a stalled frontal boundary tapping into Gulf and Atlantic moisture here that will be funneling up the east coast into the mid-Atlantic. The portions of our southern Pennsylvania region into southern New Jersey will be seeing some significant rainfall on the order of two to four inches locally higher. Let's get right into that pattern. Looking very, very stormy here in the east as those low pressure systems ride along the jet stream but the pattern will be quite stagnant to say the least as we tap into a lot of gulf moisture here let's get right into the forecast for the northeast here severe weather we're not really looking at any no large scale areas although we will have to look south of the pa turnpike here maybe later on thursday and friday here but for the most part we're not looking at most areas. However, severe weather here from Harrisburg to Philadelphia, Allentown over to Pittsburgh. I do have you in here for Thursday and Friday. Looking at possible, not hail, wind, or any of those tornadoes, it's gonna be flooding possibilities here. So we're gonna be looking at moderate to major in a lot of these areas here across much of the areas south, well south of Interstate 80 in Pennsylvania. So if you're in any of these areas, especially from Pittsburgh, Harrisburg, over to Philadelphia, uh, Hershey area, you're gonna wanna watch here for heavy rains causing flooding and flash flooding likely here. So let's get right into that forecast, starting off with your Wednesday. Look at this across the Northeast. We're looking very beautiful to say the least for Northern areas, but it's Southern areas here where the temperatures are held down, that front stalling to the South here that caused all that severe weather here across Pennsylvania and upstate New York on your Tuesday. Take a look at this. We're looking at temperatures trying to get to 70. The more north you are, the more sun you'll get. So if you're along the New York State Thruway, you'll see plenty of sunshine. Temperatures held down into the 60s here in parts of Pennsylvania into your Thursday. That front tries to wobble here and we'll start to see rain increasing, especially from central Pennsylvania on southward here, looking at up to an inch or two likely. And then Sun tries to hold on here in the northeast, but we start to see a cool down by Friday as this front really starts to win out by the weekend, unfortunately, coming back to the north here as a warm front. We're going to see clouds increasing across Binghamton, Buffalo, Syracuse, Albany. We'll start to see some late day showers, rain continuing across Pittsburgh, Harrisburg, State College, Scranton, all the way over to southern New Jersey here. It's unfortunate because you're really socked in with a lot of rain, holding those temperatures down into the upper 60s, low 70s, and then into your Saturday. Look at this, a complete washout across the whole Northeast as this warm front pushes to the north, high pressure loses out to the north, and we pretty much have every place socked in here, exception for parts of Southern Canada and Northern New England here with heavy rains, with widespread one to three inches possible. So this is not really good news. It will have a direct tropical connection coming up from the south, and this will feed lots of tropical moisture across our region, once again ruining the weather just like last weekend. It's unfortunate, but that's the pattern we are in here across the northeast. Take a look at my five-day outlook from Binghamton to Scranton's upper Susquehanna region of upstate New York and northeast Pennsylvania. Take a look at this for your Wednesday, probably one of your nicer days. 
some sunny skies, chance of a scattered shower up near 70 to 72. Into your Thursday, we see more clouds increasing, maybe some late day showers, temperatures getting up. We'll try to get up into the 70s, but look at this by Friday, we're held down into the 60s as rain increases, maybe a half quarter to an inch somewhere in there. And then Friday night and Saturday, we could get a solid inch of rain across our area, especially towards the Scranton area where you could get an inch and a half to two inches. Look at that, temperatures not getting well into the 60s at all. And for your Sunday, we're going to try to maybe break this up a bit, but we know how that goes when we get a stalled out frontal boundary. Don't forget to like me on Facebook, Mark. subscribe to me on YouTube, Immediamark.com, Twitter, WX Northeastern, Google Plus, Immediamark. That'll do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern.